So this is a cold brew system that I found a friend of mine had and showed me how to use it. I ordered it off Amazon and I'll go ahead and put a link in the description. And while we're talking about links, here's a link over here to subscribe and we'd really appreciate it. In fact, it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe, like and comment. I'm going to show how I uh, do the uh, brewing system, the cold brew system. It has 60 to 70 percent less acid and so I've been brewing now for a couple of months and really enjoy it and so I'm going to show you how I do it and I think it's more cost effective for sure. Okay, here you'll see the concentrate and when we go ahead and process the cold brew it sits on that craft and drains and so this is a concentrate I've noted that on on here so that when somebody comes in the house and makes a cup of coffee they know that they're dealing with a concentrate and uh, they don't over overdose so again this is the toddy cold brew system put the link down in the bottom and uh, this is you can see how a filter looks and they're new so I'm going to use this one more time and then I'll switch over to this. First thing we do is we got to prepare the filter and we just run cold water over it, get it ready. So you have our filter and it's wet and the bottom of this is a little rubber stopper and so you make sure you put that in there. So you put the rubber stopper in there, take the wet filter and it just fits down in there. And so, so the very first thing is you learn is there's a process for this. And so you first thing you do is you put in one cup of water. Use coarse ground coffee and you put in six ounces. One cup, six ounces of coffee, three cups of water poured in a circle. Let it sit for five minutes, another six ounces, three more cups poured in a circle. And so that's 12 ounces of coffee and that fills up this craft here. Smoother coffee, it's 60 to 70 percent less acid. So, Okay, here's the six ounces of coarse ground coffee and I'm pouring it on top of one cup and so once you dump that in there now I'm going to pour three cups in a circular motion six ounces of coffee and I'm following it up with three cups of water poured circular soaking all the grinds three cups of water I let it set for five minutes. Alexa set a timer for five minutes. All right it's been five minutes so we're going to add our next six ounces followed up by three cups of water poured in a circle and I'll be more disciplined. Second cup And you can see that it's very well saturated. There's seven cups of water and one and twelve ounces of coffee. And then that'll produce a concentrate. The cold press is filled with the water. I like to cover it 
and put it away. You have a choice of 12, 18, or 24 hours. I've been doing it for 24 hours. Works great. The concentrate is amazing. It's very, very smooth. I don't think you've ever had a, unless you've had cold pressed coffee until you've had it, you don't really realize how acidic and how bitter brewed coffee is. Cold press, totally different. Warm it up in the microwave and you're ready to go. Hey, if you enjoyed this, uh, think about subscribing to our channel. We're a young channel. We're, we don't really know what we're doing, but we're doing something. And uh, come along for the ride. We'll definitely make it as entertaining as possible. So like, comment, share, subscribe. So, cold brewed, cold pressed coffee.